Hey, Jim Toscano here, and welcome to the Monday Night Live Stream. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. Well, for those of us that live on the East Coast, we got slammed with some snow this week. And I know people that are further away or upstate or up north are like, ha, you guys can't handle it. But um, it's true. We really can't handle it. But uh, if you live in the boroughs, if you live in the five boroughs, you will know that if you live on the right side of the street, the plow pushes all the snow to the right. So if you're on a one-way street and you live on the right, your car is getting buried. So, and they only point, in the five boroughs, they only point the plows to the right. I don't know why that is, why that's a rule, but I live on the right side of the street. So all of our cars were severely buried and my forearms 
and my thumbs and actually my elbows hurt, which is like a wacky thing, but my elbows are killing me. Also, my elbows probably hurt because my dog Cooper tries to rip my arms out of my sockets when we walk. So anyway, uh, I usually don't start the live stream with a whole rant about the weather, but I figured I would just share about my snow experience. And so I'm going to be taking things very stretchy and and light tonight to recover because I'm in a lot of pain. Um, and, you know, uh, that's what this, the hand technique workshop is all about is, you know, sort of uh, working out together and, you know, taking care of each other. I got my Zoom squad waiting in the wings there and we're going to go through some various exercises tonight. I have a couple of newer things that we did maybe last week that I'm going to reintroduce. I keep looking that way because I have my Zoom squad on the screen over there. By the way, I wanted to mention a couple of things real quick before I jump in. I finally got my own copy of Rhythm Magazine, Drum Studio Tech with Jim Toscano. And so Stanton Moore on the cover there looking very awesome, actually. That picture's great. Stan Moore looking like raw and energetic. And um, this uh, technology feature has little old me in there. And then um, we go through a bunch of setups and basically stuff about my studio. And they put in some really cool shots of me, which I appreciate. And then we got um, my rig and we got Dave Weckl's rig, which I helped him design. Dave Garibaldi's rig, which I'm continuing to help David refine. And Stanton Moore's rig, which I helped him design. So there's some really fun stuff in here. And um, some little tips at the end, lighting tips and quick tips. So pick up Rhythm Magazine. I've heard that they carry this at Barnes & Noble, which the Barnes & Noble that was near our house closed. So I, don't, I haven't been in a Barnes & Noble in a long time. But apparently they carry it at Barnes & Noble. If you don't want to pay the shipping from England, uh, you can get it at Barnes & Noble, I believe. So anyway, uh, Rhythm, the latest copy, uh, latest issue, 298 And issue 297 I think they still have um, some copies of it. Make sure you get the Neil Peart issue because 297 was a tribute to Neil Peart. So make sure that you get that issue as well. It's very, very important. By the way, one more thing I'm going to mention... I'm grabbing it off my tech shelf behind me. A6400 from Sony, which I'm not shooting on right now. I'm shooting on the A7 III. Um, I'm adding this to the drum set area. Sony A6400. Um, great camera. Really great camera. So I'm going to be talking about that probably in the next stream. I'll go into a little bit of the tech with that stuff just to introduce some new things because... You know, as I do these drum stuff, I feel a responsibility to talk about tech a little bit because I get a lot of questions about it. I really need to, I know I've said this, have a night for technology streams or a day or something for doing some tech streams. I am still working on the course with Scott Kettner. We're building a course. And, of course, I do the, t the uh, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching with all this crazy tech stuff. And um, I was with my good buddy, uh, Don Familara today working on his rig and we were talking about food and wine and talking about drums and talking about technology so we had a great time today and those of you who uh, who are fortunate enough to spend some time with Dom and study with Dom he has a great book called The Cycle of Self-Empowerment which is a motivational book which I find extremely motivating and you should definitely check it out and um I think uh, I can pull up a sound bite uh, real quick of the kind of uh, <laughs> maybe I can't do this quickly. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna try to pull up a sound bite real quick because uh, this book I really love this book and I feel that everybody should have it in their collection of stuff. So uh, here is a little sound bite. Let me see if I can pull this off for you. Chapter four. Blind ambition. When I started evaluating who I was and who I wanted to be, my first reaction was to say, Now this part, really listen, pay attention. I don't know. I play the drums. I like Italian food. I like to fish. 
That's all you need to know. That's everything right there in a nutshell. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> let me bring in my little Zoom squad. Uh, I just want to mention uh, one more thing. So my companies, Sabian Symbols, thank you for the support. I love the product. Everything from Sabian. Uh, I know when I do the drum set streams, I kind of show off some of the symbols. So Sabian making incredible products, really innovative stuff. Offset pedals, ProLogic practice pads, and Black Magic Design and Zoom. Black Magic Design, I have a new gizmo that I'm going to be debuting a little bit up behind me. But they make the switchers, and Black Magic Designs is an amazing company that is really on the cutting edge of the tech game for all this stuff that we do. Uh, ATEM Mini Pro, ATEM Mini Pro ISO switchers, the uh, Video Assist, which is a recording monitor. They have a cinema cam, which is amazing. They have all this cool stuff. I'm going to be talking about the streaming bridge soon, which is going to be in my hands probably in the next week. Uh, okay, enough tech. Stop it. All right, here we go. Let's bring in the peoples. They're waiting patiently in the wings. Oh, my goodness. All right, Zoom window. Here we go. There they are. There's my little Zoom squad. By the way, if you're wondering, it's on my T-shirt. This is the patent for the... Uh, drum set for the practice drum set and right there and it's pretty pretty incredible Dom had a story about this of course I'm not going to get into it now but he had a story about the the maker of this so <laughs> that's pretty wild all right so I'm up in the in the Brady Bunch uh, corner right right next to me Ross Amoroso right there the cannoli king from Ohio <laughs> and then right underneath Ross, because Ross could actually reach down and grab John's head, is John Schneider. And John Schneider's right below Ross. And then going the other way from John, we have Bob Sears over there. Bob's hanging with us, as always. Bob is a regular in these parts of the woods. Uh, if you want to call this woods. I don't know. Is it woods? This is made of wood. Uh, and then last but least on the bottom... Last but not least, <laughs> Lucia Seminara, Lucia Rose Seminara. Lucia is a very talented drummer, also from Staten Island. Uh, John's also from Staten Island. There's three Staten Islanders in here. And um, we live on an island that's covered with snow right now. And by the way, if you live on Staten Island, the only way to get off of the island is with bridges. There are boats, but I don't trust any of them. So we take bridges. All right. So, without any further ado, we're going to do some warm-ups. All right, so I have the workshop up here. And we're also going to touch on rolling in rhythm, which I brought up a while back. Uh, and we're just going to go over that slowly. And as I was just saying earlier, my forearms and my elbows and my wrist and my thumbs are killing me. Um, so I'm going to take the, the tempos pretty reasonably. I'm not going to push everybody... Uh, very hard. Not that we, we ever really push too hard, but sometimes we push a little bit. And so we're going to start with um, the accent patterns. We're going to do fours, threes, and twos. And let's take it at 110 to begin. Sounds good. One, two. Oh, so um, let me just make sure. We have a good view. Yeah, yeah. I kind of switched everything up tonight. So, all right, cool. Here we go. One, two. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap, up. I wish I could leave my thumb off. I could, and just hold on with the three back fingers. It's actually very painful either way. So I'm going to leave my thumb on. On the left and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to double stop it. Do a little role modeling to steal a term from Chet DeBeau. I find that like when you're working on something, 
if one of your hands doesn't behave that well, do both hands together in unison. And I feel like one will conform to the other. Your weaker hand will usually conform to your stronger hand a little bit. It's very helpful. Also, I find if I hit really light, it doesn't hurt as much tonight. All right, let's go to threes on the right. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Feel the stretch. Left. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. Twos. One and two and three and four and one and two. Down up, down up, down up, down up. One and two and three and four and one. Two's on the left and one and two and one and two and one and two, two and one. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. Double stops. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. By the way, something I keep meaning to mention is you can swing this. And it becomes a little different of an exercise, right? And three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And you can work on your Chicago style shuffle. One and two and three and four and all right. So now we're gonna go to combos. Combo number one on the right side. Song clave, three two song clave. One, two. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four and one and two and three, four, two, three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four, one, two, three. One and two and three and four, one, two, three. One more time. Two and three and four and one, two on the left and one and two and three and four and one. Two, three, one and two and three, four and one, and two and three, one and two and three and four and one, and two, three, one and two and three and four and one, and two, double stop, one and two and three and four and one, and two and three, one and two and three and four and one, and two and three. You can also work on dynamics, play very low. All right, uh, Roma Clave, right. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four and one. And left. One and two and three and four and one, two, three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, double. Mm, 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 mm. One and two and three and four and. Basa clave right. Pop, 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 pop. Left, 
Now we're going to move to the, the next one. I have to scroll the page. All right. Um, let's skip the last accent combo. Let's go to accent sequence one. So we're, we're going to utilize our up strokes and down strokes, free strokes, tap strokes. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, tap. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. One more time. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. On the left and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, free. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap. All right, let's go to neutral. For a moment, I'm going to pull up some interlaced accents. I might pause in the area of the new interlaced stuff and go over it. We're not really on a, you know, a major schedule. We could do that. Let's do the interlaced, a couple of these. Let's do... Let's do B, 1B, 2B, 3B. 2B or not to B? So between page seven and eight, in the crease. It's in the crease of your booklet. Play exercises in the crease, it's very challenging. All right, here we go. Do I need this? I guess I do. All right, one, two, one, two, one, B. On the left. Two, threes on the right. On the left, hold on. Two, twos on the right. on the left try to be economical with your motions you don't want these real high in the air it's gonna be very difficult to play to uh, let's neutral for a minute here um, yeah, let's look at the interlace combos for a minute here. I'm going to actually, um, yeah, let's pause. Okay, so we're going to do um, the interlace combos. These are in triplets, and so we were doing a little bit of this last week. So we're going to interlace threes, interlace twos, and interlaced fours, and we're going to go from interlace threes to interlace twos, to interlace threes, to interlace fours, all in sextuplets, and so that we're going to get this rate change that happens. So 
and I've um, been writing a lot of rate exchange things where we change rates on common rudiments, but I'm doing it on the pumping motions as well so that you kind of see how to use this stuff in different rates because we do a lot of 16th note based stuff in the workshop with the accent patterns and I was like self self like write some things to help folks work on it in triplets so so uh, number 54 the first measure we're just gonna loop the first measure and it's the same idea in the right hand Down tap up, down tap up, down tap up, down. So that's our eighth note triplet in the right hand. And then we're going to interlace the left, hence making sextuplets. Okay, then we're going to go to twos in sextuplets. Now, the, remember, we're going to accent the quarter note triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one let, let, three, let, let, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. So you can always set your metronome to eighth note triplets. One triplet, two triplet, twos on the right. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, down, up, 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 down. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Making sense on the twos? So that's the twos. And then we go back to threes. And then we're going to go to groups of four. Now remember, the fours are going to, we talked about this last week, are going to accent the, and this would be line 57, are going to accent the half note triplet because now we're going wider on our um, accent pattern. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. So if we do that, at the eighth note rate, eighth note triplet rate. Three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet. Right? So um, I'm going to slow it down to 70, and I'm going to put on an eighth note triplets just so you can hear it in the eighth note triplet rate, what that would sound like. It's a little annoying to listen to the triplet, but you can really feel how your right hand, uh, when you're doing this on the right side, because remember, you have to practice it lefty, um, really is going to lock up with the eighth note triplet. So if you only played the right hand and left out all the lefts, left out the lefts, I played left out when I was in Little League. <laughs> they were like, Jim, you're playing left out. I'd be like, why do they always leave me out? I'm always left out. But at the end, I get a snow cone. That's a Brian Reganism. I don't know if anybody knows that. All right, here we go. Ready? So we're going to do... Um, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I keep making jokes and I'm being silly. All right, let's go back to the top. So let's do eighth note triplets. Right hand. One, two, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, twos. 
One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, threes, twos, threes, fours, three. All right, so that making sense? Threes, twos, fours, all eighth note triplets, one handed. And the other hand is going to just interlace in between all of the strokes, playing just a little tap stroke. So the left is really just going to be tap, 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 tap in between, okay? So now I'll put it all together. So I'm going from the top, first four lines, looping it, and I'll bring it. You know what? I'll do it one time without the left, and then I'll bring in the left. Two, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Twos, threes, fours. Making sense? Yes? Cool. Any more? Do I need to bring any more of that down or we're all good, right? We're good? Yep. All right. So, um, and the next one, on the next page, we just double the accents. So, it would sound like this. Um, so I'll do the same tempo. I'll leave the, the triplets going. So now we're doing, we're doing actually the threes, twos, and fours that we did before in the accent section, but now we're doing it in sextuplets. So that's really, it's just a rate change. We already played this and everybody had no problem playing it. It's just that now it's in a triplet, um, grid. Two, three, four. Triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one. Actually, blew the last one. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, triplet, four, triplet. One, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one. So that's the idea. And we're actually going to do all of the other interlaced um, positions over the same grid. And, you know, another thing you could do with this, by the way, is take another rudiment and put it on this same idea of using uh, rate exchange. So, like, what if you were doing paradiddles as triplets, single paradiddles? So you could do something like... Um, so if I put a quarter note, watch this. What if we were doing two, three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e, and a two, e, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet, one, e, and a two, four, e, and a one, triplet, and triplet, two, triplet, and triplet, three, triplet, and triplet, four, triplet, and triplet, one. Right? So I keep changing the rate, but I'm still just playing paradiddles. So we could do a rate exchange with something like a paradiddle and keep playing the same sticking over a bunch of different rates so that it becomes more usable on the drum set in different contexts. Um, so what I did there was I played six, 16th notes paradiddles, then I played 8th note triplet paradiddles, then I played 16th notes again, then I played 16th note triplet paradiddles <laughs> of all single paradiddles, right? So it's just a fun way to explore what that can sound like on the drums. And what's kind of cool is if you're doing, let's say, this is a little slow, but 
one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one triplet two triplet three two uh let me do that again four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet one e and a two three e and a four e and a one triplet one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one triplet two triplet three Triplet one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one triplet and triplet two triplet and triplet three triplet and triplet four triplet and triplet one, right? So it's an interesting way to exchange the rate um, on something like that. And it's fun to practice, right? And it really gets you um, thinking about the spacing and your timing. So cool. Let's move forward, um, and we're gonna go. I'll give you guys a page, and let's just finish going through. 34. Let's do, we'll do the rebound section. We'll go through our rolls and then actually we'll pick it up here. And I think it's good that we stopped along the way as long as we we're in the accent section. Let's go up to uh, 130 for rebounds and then we'll go into the double stroke section. And then we're going to work on rolling in rhythm after that. So one, two, three, four, one, two, oh, page. 15, if you have your booklet. Page 15, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I always forget. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lucia. That's a good cue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I remember the page number. All right, here we go. All right, ready? Eight on a hand. One. Two, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. I'm really leaving my thumbs out on this. Just resting them. Back free only. Can't believe how heavy the snow was. I'm in pain. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. Five one two three four 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 five one four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one Three one two 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 three three one two three one two three one two three one two three two one 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 all right, one, two, one, two, double it, and five stroke roll. One, two, ready, go. One and two, and a three and one and two, and a three and one and two, and a three and two, and a three and one and two, and a three and one and two, and a three and doubles. Six stroke, ready, go. One and one and one and one. And one. One and one and one and one. One one. Back to doubles. Seven. One, two, ready, go. One and two and a one and two and a one and two. One and two and one and two and one and two. Doubles. 
nine stroke roll. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and doubles. Ten stroke roll. Ready, go. One, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two. That's right. Two and three, one, two and three, one, two and doubles. Just gonna scroll the page, even though we know what's coming. Eleven stroke roll, ready, go. One, two, three, 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 three, one, two, three, doubles. I forgot about the chat tonight. My apologies if there is anybody in the chat. I'll check it out in a minute, or in a few minutes. 13 stroke, ready, go. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and one, two, three, four, one, two, and one, three, four, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and one, four, one, two, three, and doubles. 15 stroke, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, 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 one, two, doubles. One, two, 17 stroke, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and one. Five, and five, and five, and five. Two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, and doubles. Roll combo one, one, two, ready, go. One and a two, and a three, and four, and a one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one, two, three, and four, one, one, two, three, and four, one, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, doubles. Roll combo two, ready, go. One, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, and three. One, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, and three. One, two, three, and a four, and a one, two, and doubles. Roll combo three, one, two, ready, go. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and two. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and two, and four. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and two, three, and four. Stop. Okay, be quiet, metronome. Uh, cool. All right, so the regular doubles section. Let's um, let's hit rolling in rhythm now because you know we might not get to it, and then uh, I will have spoken wrong. I don't want to do that. So let's go over this really simple little solo. It's the first one in the Wilcoxon Rudimental Swing Solos book. It's a really fun one. Everybody should know it. It's dedicated to Joe Morello, which I think is beautiful. And it's on page 14 in the Charlie Wilcoxon book. And by the way, Kevin Lehman has a Facebook page called the uh, Wilcoxon Rudimental Challenge. And he invites people to record themselves playing a solo, one of the solos from the All-American solos, and, you know, present that in video form for the group. And so you basically, you join uh, as an administrator. He will allow you to come in or not, depending on you know whether you like cannolis or something like that. And then once he lets you in, <clears throat> then um, if you record yourself doing one of the Wilcoxon solos, that may get featured on the page. And I think it's pretty cool. So, and you can contact him uh, directly and say, hey, which solos have not been done yet? I think they were getting really close, but I don't think they're all done yet. But I think it's very close. I did one a while back. I did it at the drum set and kind of did one of the 6-8 uh, ones and played, you know, some foot parts with it and kind of made it groove uh, in my mind anyway. And uh, so it was, su it was super fun to do. And so let's go over this little solo here. So rolling in rhythm... It's all double strokes with accents. It's meant to feel constant, constant, constant rolling, right? So that's the idea. Single drags in here as well. And there's 
two flams <laughs> in the whole piece. Two flams. They're kind of like road bumps. It's like you're rolling along, and then you just hit this log, and it's like, oh, flam. Okay, and then back to rolling. So it's kind of fun that, that, that that's in there. Um, I think John does this with his feet on two different pitched hi-hats, and and it's pretty crazy. I've I've never seen it done before, but I know John Schneider's been working on that for a while. He I think he originally had a gong on one foot and two splash cymbals on the other, and that wasn't working, so now he's using just two different pitched hi-hats. I completely made that up. That was not true whatsoever. I apologize. I, I take about it, it, which is really funny because I was like, did I ever tell you that? <laughs> yeah, well, I you know, that is something that you would think of, and that's why I thought of it. Um, and actually, you know, it is a good piece to work on with your feet because you're working on all of the doubles with your feet. By the way, when you're doing this, try to keep everything really light and flowing and not squeeze your sticks at all. That's why I have my metal sticks, just so we can hear the... Do you hear the pitch? <laughs> Make sure that you hear the pitch of your sticks. You can actually hear the pitch of your sticks as you're doing that. Uh, you don't need metal sticks to hear the pitch. As long as you're loose, you will hear it. So uh, I don't remember what tempo we did this at, but I'm going to set a tempo. Uh, I think we did like the first couple lines, right? I want you guys to remind me. Bob, you remember what we did? Bob's going to chime in. Bob can't unmute himself. All the technology coaching, he doesn't know how to put the mute button. Uh, no, I got to use my left hand now. <laughs> oh, no, not the left. I think we tried to go through the whole thing, but. Uh, we'll, oh, okay. Whatever tempo you went at, I know I couldn't keep up. <laughs> okay, so let's keep it. We'll keep it real reasonable. So we'll we'll take it at 120. We'll see how everybody does. So this is really very reasonable, right? One, two, one, two, ready, and one. Uh, that's the whole piece. And then, um, let's just, we'll talk about a couple sections. So, and it, you know, what's fun about this piece is, uh, the whole double drag tap section is really super fun and really applicable to the drum set. And I, and I, and I recommend Ross went to get a cannoli. I recommend, uh, you know, working on it at the drums. Um, but I love the, the single drag um, section that's going on. That whole drag section is really nice. And it's stuff that we have in the workshop, too, with that whole, you know. Um, and it's great stuff to work on for the drums. So let's go from the top. And I'm just going to play the first theme. And just we'll go over that real quick. And again, you know, nice, easy solo. Um, let's do this first theme, which let's say it brings us to uh, the... First four lines, we'll say. I mean, even though that's expanding outside of that range, but the first four lines. So one, two, one. And actually, you know what? We'll do 110. One, two, one, two, ready, and one, and a two, and a 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 one, one, and a two, and one, and two, and a one, and two, and one, and a two, and a one, and two, and a one. One and two and a one and two and a one and two and one and two and a one and two two and one and a two and a one. Okay, so so that's it. And oh, so this is what I wanted to mention. 
I say don't focus on the stickings whatsoever. Only focus on the accents. Because the stickings follow in the natural order of things. So you don't really have to think about the stickings. The other thing is, if you just go for accents, you're going to wind up on the correct hand. If you follow sort of the natural law of motion in a way, you don't really have to get too hung up on the stickings. The other thing that I find is not helpful, although it does identify some things, is the numbers. Don't try to go like, I'm going to do a 15-stroke roll, then I'm going to do an 11, and then I'm going to do a five. You know, it's like, forget that. Don't even look at the numbers. <laughs> so just look at the accents. So all I'm counting is one and a two and a 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 one and a two and two and a one and two and one and a two and a one and two and a one and two and a one and two. So I'm just reading the rhythms. So your best bet is to try to really read the rhythms. And if you're a person that has a little bit of trouble reading the rhythms, if this is sort of new to you, reading it, go for just reading the rhythms and not even worrying about rolling the stickings. You could just play singles and go one and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one and a two e and a and a two and a one and just get the rhythms down. Once you really have the rhythms, then you can sit there and do the doubles and just fill in the blanks with the doubles. And you know, that should really be the approach, I think, uh, the most useful approach. And if you do want to read the stickings, just slow it down and go through the stickings. It's really funny. I've done this with workshops where I have people going right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 and then you wind up like tongue tied and you're falling off your chair and you can't breathe. So it's much better to count the rhythms and then. Um, especially when you get to the drag section at the end, like if we go uh, last three lines, I'll do the one bar before the last three lines with that pickup, the left left pickup. So it's and one and two and one two and one and two and a one and two and a one one and two and one and a two and one and two and a one and two and one and a two and one and two and a one and two and a one one and two and one and a two and one and a two. Right. So if you're counting the the rhythms out it'll be much easier to play. So anyway, so that's my advice on utilizing this here solo. And the only place where we're not really using traditional rolls, meaning five, sevens, nines, elevens, thirteens, all that good stuff, is the long roll with the accents. When you get down to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth line, or five from the bottom, if you wish, uh, now you have to double accents while you're rolling. So really think about the back three fingers and using some snap to pull out those accents, right? So that you get the sound of those accents coming through evenly. We don't want to bully the first one and then you get like sort of da-da, da-da. We want to get da-da, right? So it's really important that you pull those out and using your back three fingers just to snap those in is super helpful. This little snap of the back three. See that? Dump, dump. And you can't see it on that side. A snap. Okay, cool. So that's rolling in rhythm. And, um, you know, I think that uh, the next time we do it, let's, uh, and you guys, if I forget, Remind me, because we should do it again, and we'll we'll lift the tempo a little bit as we go through. So any questions from the Zoom squad on that one? No, right? We're good? Everybody cool? John's going to work on it with his hi-hat feet. Um, he has, actually, he has three feet. He's got two for the hi-hats and one for the bass drum, which is pretty cool. It's very rare, uh, but he's got that, and it's it's a beautiful thing. So um, I was going to just go over one other little thingamajiggy from the booklet, but I should check my little chat window. Uh, just in case, is it, there might there might be somebody in there. You never know. I have ignored everyone tonight, which is not like me. The chat is ready to display messages. So I'm not logged into the chat, I don't think, even at this point. But um, here's my mom. Uh, I like to show this picture of my mom. She's in the chat window. and um, But I didn't log into chat tonight, so I blew it. My apologies. 
<laughs> for anybody that may have come into the chat, I kind of blew it. I didn't I didn't do that. Um, by the way, I'm going to mention a couple of things while we're here because we're kind of like near the end of this, and I'm probably going to wrap it up uh, in a minute here. But um, if you, uh, not this window, back to this window, my follow window, my link tree, uh, QR code, blink, Get that link tree. You can follow me on social media. I tend to post um, dog-related stuff, coffee-related stuff, drum-related stuff, and uh, oh, and inspirational-related stuff. I was like, wait a minute, what else do I post? Lots of inspirational stuff. And so, if you follow me, I I do post a lot of quotes that I find to be inspiring, and I try to inspire and motivate everybody that I reach. Uh, because I think it's super important, especially in these crazy times. We're all locked in our houses with our Cooper dogs. And um, and my Zoom squad has been a force for me, a very positive force in my life, because we get to hang out every Thursday and play drums together, which is beautiful. Uh, and sometimes we exchange recipes and, um, and words of wisdom, which is beautiful. Bob has a great... Um, Mexican dish that he's been sharing with me, which I think is, you know, really good. Follow Bob on social media. He's quite the chef. Uh, I just made all of that up. And, and yeah. So, um, and the other thing is follow my little Kitco site, kit.co slash Jim Toscano, which is pretty cool. Be I put together all these little technology kits so that, you know, the gear that I use to do all this stuff is listed there. And um, by the way, if you're a drum teacher... And you have a student that never has their iPad in a position where you can actually see them playing their drums. I got this little generic mic stand and this awesome little clamp that holds an iPad. And I made this for one of my students, uh, Rocco, so that when he puts his iPad right here, I'll be able to see him, his hands, his little face, instead of just the top of his head. So um, I put this on my Kiko site. So it's a little clamp for like, 20 bucks for an iPad and like a cheap mic stand. You put those two things together and you can actually see your students. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. Back to my little Zoom window. So I had fun playing with you guys tonight. I'm going to actually wrap it up now because I am starving. I'm going to go eat and uh, my little Zoom squad, I'm going to have them hold on for a minute. I'm going to see them in the after show. <laughs> uh, but thanks for hanging tonight I don't know if anybody was in the chat but I apologize I forgot to sign into chat and you know sometimes my brain doesn't function these guys know that and uh, I'll see all you guys on the next um, Thursday stream because Monday night I'm going to be snowboarding so I'm not streaming this coming Monday I'm going to be on the mountain on my snowboard carving it up <laughs> and I missed that. I haven't been out in a bit. The last time I was out was a couple years ago out west, and I really miss it. So I'm going to be out snowboarding uh, Sunday and Monday, and then back to uh, the live stream on Thursday. And then the week after on Monday, Vincent Larissa and I are doing the Tony Thompson episode that got canceled because of the snow. So we'll be doing the Tony Thompson thing. We prepared. We have some great stuff for you on that, some great transcriptions to share. And some uh, great drumming uh, grooves that are going to get demonstrated. Stuff that's inspired me throughout my life. So we're going to be doing the Tony Thompson episode. And we also have an episode of the O for Drum Sake Squad coming up pretty soon on a Monday in March. So there's a bunch of shows coming down the pipe. So stay tuned for all that stuff. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a great week. And thanks for hanging with us tonight. All right. Talk to you soon. Say bye, Zoom squad. <laughs>